Chat, what's up Dragon Brew? Today, we wanna cover some chips. And they're very, very different. Normally you think about chips being like potatoes or corn chips or something like that. But we have something very, very different today from the Pulp Pantry. And this is actually a really cool thing. I found out about them through Shark Tank. And the owner has a pretty interesting story on how these came to be. Now, as it turns out, according to the owner, she got the idea for these chips from watching all of her friends like juice a lot of vegetables and fruits and then just seeing the waste that was there after you got all the juice out, right? Which I can understand because that whole process does leave a lot of waste behind. But then she realized, can we actually turn these into food? And it turns out apparently you can. And that's actually really interesting. So yeah, we have pulp chips. So let's take a look at the ingredients on here real quick. So the nutritional facts have uh, this is five servings per container, so it's a five ounce bag, one ounce servings. Looks like pretty healthy chips overall. There is a little bit of saturated fat, or yeah, gives you about 5%. Uh, no cholesterol, no uh, low sodium, actually. It's actually overall pretty good. And it has a little bit of calcium, iron, potassium. And then when you're reading the ingredients, it's a vegetable blend of, believe this, Romaine, spinach, kale, collards, green leaf, green chard, spring mix, arugula, cucumber, parsley, celery, and fennel. And or fennel. I guess it depends on, on what flavor you have, probably. Uh, let's see, you've got sunflower, sunflower oil, cassava flour, tapioca flour, okra flour, which is something I don't think I've ever really had, uh, white vinegar, chia seeds, and sea salt. So this is actually pretty good. It also says, if you see here on the bottom, it says that it's full on flavor, free from gluten, grains, potato, and corn. So this is actually a really healthy, good chip for a lot of people. There's gonna be a bunch of people who can't eat a lot of other stuff that are really gonna be able to eat these. So uh, let's crack into the bag. Oh my gosh, this bag's so hard to open. <laughs> All right, hold on a second. Childproof packaging. All right, so we got the bag open. You know, okay. These are really good. These are like, I will say, it's closer to a cracker than a chip. It's, it's almost like somewhere between a thick potato chip and, and a wheat thin, if you've had those, right? It's kind of somewhere between that. But the flavor is fantastic. And these would be good with all types of dip or whatever. I could see you have these with salsa. You could have them with bean dips. You could have them probably even with just a cheese dip would be good. So, yeah, these are impressive. Like, it's almost... I think the concern here, when I was diving in, and maybe some of y'all are thinking the same thing, is just the fact that it's all these vegetables, right? But it doesn't taste like it. I mean, truly, if you enjoy Wheat Thins or Triscuits or anything like that, like I would find it very difficult for you to dislike these. And the fact that these are grain-free, potato-free, you know, like, this is going to fit a lot more people's diet. Like, this is really cool. I'm, I'm, I like these a lot. And we had to go ham because they have a barbecue flavor, so we got to try these, too. And actually, let me show these up close. You get a look at the chips. You can kind of understand what they look like here they're they in every way just look like some type of uh i don't know like a grain health nut chip but that's really not what they are and this is the regular and this is the barbecue obviously uh okay all right the barbecue is good too the ingredients list doesn't look uh drastically different other than chipotle powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and natural flavors, whatever that is. Uh, it does have some tomato power, powder, so they did take some extra just seasonings in there. But yeah, I'm good with both of these, truthfully. I, I would highly recommend these. It's, if you have dietary restrictions that are keeping you from having other chips, or maybe you just want chips that are healthier, because I like to snack on a lot of that type of stuff, these are super good. 
I would definitely, I, I ordered these online, but I, I assume you can find these in different places. But yeah, check them out. These are really good. If there's anything else I should review or things that you're into that I may not know about, let me know down in the comments below. Otherwise, check out my other videos because we have all kinds of fun reviews here. We'll see you next time.